so last session last session just will complete condition statements right so based on the condition we will execute the business logic yes or no so here just i will revise uh, five minutes conditional statements so what is the advantage suppose uh, I, I will give one message so generally good morning ha huh? below 12 right yes or no after 12 after 12 good afternoon after 12 to below below 4 huh? good afternoon below 4 or below 3 okay nothing uh, so in the in the night time good night yes or no so based on the based on the time we will execute some lodging so here conditional statements conditional statements are used to execute business logic uh, are used business logic yes or no suppose i will give one scenario suppose you know phone pay and google pay everyone know right so can you transfer more than one lakh within day no sir no so they provide the limit below one lakh yes. only we will transfer the amount from one bank to another bank by using phone pay or google pay that is the condition that is one logic clear now so here we will implement conditional statements conditional statements uh, by using simple if if else if else if that's it okay so i will give if else only so now observe if you can write the condition if condition is true block one get executed oh block one get executed if condition is false block two get executed okay so here we will design condition as part of if block suppose huh, please everyone condition is true then if block Excuse. get executed suppose so everyone open your mouth and try to speak it so interviewer will suppose assume i am interviewer then we'll start answering huh suppose condition is false then block to will get executed block to get executed executed yeah. any questions up to this can you try to implement a welcome message okay ah x today display ah morning please please good evening or message based on time can you try to implement everyone okay oh yeah. yes, yes. yes so here guys can compare to initial now you are good huh? still you are struggling I know initial days you struggle something, at least you are better, right? What is variable? What is operator? What is condition statements? Huh? No, no? Uh, yes, 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 better. I know Java is very easy compared to other technologies. Even though any other technology came into market, that technology must and should designed on top of Java only. That is our biggest advantage for Java guys. Now, so here I will take time. I will take time. Assume I will take time 10. Uh, generally, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, when? If time less than 12, right? Yes. Less than equal to? Yeah, less than equal to also. Less than equal to also, right? Mm. Okay, super. So this is one condition. Now here, system dot out dot print ln. Good morning. Good morning. That's it. Ah, next one. Good evening. Ah, else if time ah greater than equal to twelve. Or greater than greater than twelve, and uh, time less than good evening, below six, uh, or below seven. 
below 5 okay. below 5 after 5 you good in ah anything is fine anything anything is fine so good evening sorry good afternoon ha huh. now good evening ha huh. greater than 5 right greater than 5 yeah. and less than 8 11 59 Okay, anything, anything, eight or some dummy, yeah. anything. Okay. Uh, okay. Then, good evening. Else, ah, uh, else, ah. Uh. Good night. Good night. So, everyone able to understand how to write the program? Clear. So here, based on the condition, based on the condition, we will write the corresponding business logic. any questions yeah suresh i have one doubt for yeah. um, uh, we have only 12 hours or 24 hours that's why actually yeah. Yeah. if mm. you will write this in the yes, 24 yes, yes. hour format generally generally i will i will write uh, this is a 12 format generally we will consider 24 hours format yes then okay. the logic will be correct yes clear yeah sir yes, for your understanding just i wrote uh, 12 hours format only generally we will write uh, 24 hours 24 format. hours yes you observe training timings all are 24 hour timings only uh, right yeah suresh but uh, we are giving only 12 hours but uh, you have first uh, condition is less than 12 is complete gm ha uh. morning and after okay. that also uh, given good afternoon good evening All hmm. are the below to well. So, That's why oh. I'm asking. Oh, sorry. But that we have to change it as seventeen. Okay. Seventeen and here twenty. Sorry. Good catch. Now clear. What the time? Ten. Ten. Nothing but. Less than twelve. So good morning. Yeah, again I will show you how to compile and execute. First, to go to wherever your programming is there. So here, wherever your programming is there, go to here. Select this this one bar. Type cmd. Enter. Click on enter. Then so here in this folder your program is there. Then start converting high level into low level. Yes. Once high level is converted into low level, so dot class file generated. We will give dot class file as input to your machine. Now your machine take read line by line, execute it, and give some results to end user. That's it. Okay. Any questions? No, no, Suresh. Yeah, super. So no questions, right? Can you capture some more some more interview questions on if else condition statements? Can anyone? Can anyone? Uh, Suresh, I have one question here. Yeah. Uh, like you said yesterday, uh, whenever there is a single statement after if condition, uh -huh, uh -huh. we can uh -huh. we can uh, ignore the parentheses, yes, right? Yes. 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 In this case, uh, if else, yes, we can remove it. Condition? Yes. Here single statement remove it. Here also single statement remove it. Here also single statement remove it. Okay. Here also single statement remove it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Can I go loops now? Today we'll go for loops. So loops are called as iteration statement. What is this? Iteration statement. Mm, iteration statement. Why you will can go for loops? Please observe here. I want to print one to five numbers. Ah, uh, can anyone guess? One to five. System dot out dot ah. Uh, print ln. One, ah, uh, two, three, four, five. Right? Two, three, four, five. Right? Yes or no? Yes. Hello. Now yes, sir. Com compile it. Yeah. One, two, five. Coming. Good. So here. 
this line repeated how many times? Five times. Yeah. Suppose I want to print hundred numbers, one to hundred. Then session dot total print and repeated how many times? Hundred times. So the which line repeated multiple times? System dot out total line. So the line, this is called duplicate code. What is this? Duplicate line or dupl redundancy code? What is this? Redundancy code. Ha. Huh. Duplicate code, the line which repeated multiple times, that is called duplicate code or redundancy. That is the real time terminology. Again, I note down the line which repeats in the program is called as uh, duplicate code or uh, redundancy redundancy code clear suppose duplicate code increases increases in the programming in the program what will happen memory waste is efficient yes memory waste is nothing but performance down right performance yes. degraded yes or no so that's why yes. we will we will not allow duplicate code as much as much as possible in the programming clear yes sir yeah so here we will one of the scenario we will remove duplicate code duplicate code by using loops what is this loops. using loops loops so if you want i note down here here system dot out dot print is the duplicate code multiple times iterated if a duplicate code increases performance is down that's it we will implement loops in three ways how many ways three ways first one while do while and then for loop. So in order to implement loops, we need we need three components in order to implement in order to implement loops. Uh, what, what anyone? Initialization. Uh, condition checking. Increment. Or decrement. decrement. Any questions up to this? No, right? Yes, uh, what no. the initialization alert will discuss? What the initialization? Assigning, Assigning value to your the value to the variable by using assignment operator is at very first time. Be remember at very first time is called as initialization okay so here please observe here this is initially assigning the value to your variable by using equal operator is called initialization any questions no any question no second one condition checking condition checking you know right how to build the check how to build the condition huh. yeah we will build the conditions Huh. Yeah. by using operators right yes or no we have so many yeah. operate relation operator or logical operators yes or no so yes. less than greater than by i i am not at all touched that point already you know last one huh increment, increment or decrement or decrement this is also you know increment so here one minute huh? most increment increment so here plus plus is called as increment operator. What is this? You know increment, increment right? operator. So increment here operator. plus plus means uh, increment the variable variable value by one. Yes or no? 
so that maybe yeah. pre increment or post increment are there we'll discuss a later point of time similarly ha huh? decrement ha huh. all right we'll discuss minus minus ha huh, is called as decrement, decrement. operator right ha huh. minus minus nothing but decrement the variable value by 1 okay okay super so any questions these three components are required in order to build while do while for loop okay okay yeah can i go while yes yes sir. Sir. yeah so while first please observe syntax i read it initialization okay and then while inside the while right condition if condition is true then logic get executed here i will write business logic or something or block okay if condition is true this one get executed if condition is false while block get terminated okay first initialize the variable value uh, and then and then check the condition right yes or no yes Yes. So here, first initialize the value and then check the condition. Ha. Huh. Suppose condition is true, then what will happen? While block will get executed. Get executed. Here, block nothing but please observe the logic inside open brace, curly open brace and curly close block. That is called one block. Okay. Get executed. Suppose. Condition is false, ha. Huh? Condition is false. Then while block get terminated means not executed. Clear? Yes, Suresh. Any questions? No. No. Can you see one or two examples? Yeah. Yeah. So here, print one to five numbers. Five numbers in ascending order so here in this case observe what is the initialization point starting from where oh. one numeric huh? what is the initialization point what is the initialization where you can start to assign operator no no where initialization i think what where you can start what is the starting point here One, one, one. Clear. Initialization. I think was starting point. Clear. If you want, I note down here. Starting point. Clear now. What are the condition? Huh. What are the condition? Greater than or equal. I less than five, right? Yes. Up to yeah. five. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. Now here increment or decrement? Increment. 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 One, two, three, four. Clear. Can you try this program? Oops. So first initialize the value. Okay, initialization. I think was starting point where we can start, and then as part of the while block, write the condition. I want to print one to five. I will explain. Don't worry. If condition is true, print that one. One minute. Here, where we can write increment decrement after business logic executed done. Here, we can write increment or decrement. Decrement. That's it. Okay. Sorry for that. I missed that one. Yeah. So here. System dot out dot print ln ah i now increment or decrement increment 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 now observe first I will try to execute then I will explain okay yeah one two five yeah sorry you want to print one two five right equal to yeah please observe what is the initialization I What the inflation? I, I is equal to one. Ah, one. Uh, one less than equal to five. Condition true or false? True. 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 So here, print one. Clear. And then yeah. increment by one. 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 Two. One plus I one. Two. Two less than five. Condition true or false? True. 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 Again, control comes into loop and print two. And increment by one. Ah. Uh. Three. 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 Three less than equal to five. 
condition true. Again, control comes into loop and print three. Again, printed by uh, increment by one. Four. Four. Four, four less than equal to five. Condition true or false? Condition true. Then again, control comes into loop and print to four. And again, increment by one. Five, five less than equal, equal to five. five. Condition true or false? True. True. Again, true. control comes into loop. Print to five. Again, increment by one. Six. Six. Now condition is true or false? False. 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 Then this will not terminate. This will terminate it and display the result. Clear? Clear. Yes. So again, I will explain initialization condition. You can write condition here. If condition is true, this block executed. If condition is false, this block get terminated. Yeah. Any questions? No. No. Yeah. Is it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Now, next one. Observe and careful answer it. Print numbers. Five to one. Five, five to one in descending order. Wait, wait, wait. Increment. Ah, in descending, descending order. order. Yes. One minute. Huh. What are the initialization point? Ah, uh, in i equals to five. Everyone, everyone, unmute and try to speak in it. Five uh, equals to five. Okay, so for, huh? Huh. What are the condition? I, I, I greater than or equal to greater than or equal to one. Oh, okay. Right. Um, this, yeah. Okay. Uh, increment or decrement? Decrement. Decrement. Yeah, super. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Huh. Uh, Int i is equal Int to five. Int i equals to five. Int i equal to five. Int i equal to five. Int i equal to five. Huh. Why? Why? I greater than or equal to one. Mm -hmm. I greater than or equal to one. Mm -hmm. uh, system dot out dot print dot out dot print ln dot i. Super. Mm -hmm. I minus minus. Minus minus. Minus minus i. Yeah. I minus minus i. Right? Yeah. Suresh, why? Uh, I, I minus I minus. Why not? Uh, minus minus i. Sorry. Yeah, anything is fine. Minus minus i also fine. After next line, it will get incre decremented, right? So yeah, here, okay. in, in this line, not decremented. After next line, next line means here. After next line, it will decremented, right? Anything is fine. Ah, go ahead for it. Okay. Yeah, we have to give i. Initializing part is 5 only. We are given. Yeah. i, I less than or equal 5. Rather. No, 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 no. No, Dec it's five, a descending four. order. It's descending wait, wait. order. So, so here, observe. Five greater than equal to one. Condition true or false? false. Yeah, true. Huh? False. Uh, false. 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 Huh? Here in this case, which one is bigger? Okay, for true. True, right? True. Control yeah. comes into loop and print to five. Okay, and decremented by one. Okay, four. 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 Uh -huh. Condition true or false? True. true. Oh. Control comes into loop and print to four and decrement again decrement by one. Three. Three. Okay, three. Three and greater than equal to one. Condition true or false? True. Uh, again so comes into loop print. Uh, again decrement by one. Two greater than two. equal to one. Okay. Condition true or false? True. Again control two. comes into loop and print to two. Two. Okay. Again decrement by one. One. Condition true two or false? Greater than equal to one. Uh, so condition true. is true. Again, decrement by one. Zero. Zero. Condition true or false? False. 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 Then print five, four, three, two, one. Any questions? No, sir. Here, no, sir. There is no, sir, for us. No, sir. <laughs> yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Any questions? Yeah, no, sir. Okay. Can I go next to program? Yeah. So at least better idea, right? Now, print even numbers between 1 to 10. Huh. Yes. 
so blindly print 1 to 10 number then we'll decide how to how to print even numbers huh? first to print 1 to 10 numbers okay no. wait 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 how to print 1 to 10 numbers initialize 1 i equal to 1 i equal to 1 starting from where mm -hmm. huh? and then what is the condition yeah. While plus I is less than or equal, equal to 10. ten. Okay, super. Uh, and then write the logic. System After, dot. Uh, system dot hmm. out dot print ln. Print I. I. Okay, super. And the increment or decrement? Increment. Increment. Okay. Print blindly one to ten. Nice one to ten. Hmm. But your requirement is what? Print only uh, even numbers. Even numbers uh, between one how, one. So which line causes to print the data to end user? This line, right? Yeah. yeah. So control X. Here, how to check whether number is even or odd? Uh, by using modulus. I modulus. To Clear. Inside computer. this, you can write that line. Okay. Clear now? Okay. Hello, Manasa? Uh, yes, uh, one second, Suresh, why you can't write that logic in the while condition directly? Here itself, huh? Yes. No, no, no. This is, suppose, 11, 12, outer loop will check, right? 1 to 10, number 1 to 10. First one, inside okay. the 1 to 10, you can check even numbers only. Okay. Here, please observe. 2, 4, 6, 10, 8. So, total how much? 10, 12, 20, 30. Five numbers. Yeah. Any questions? Any explanation required? No. No, Alak Parashram. Yeah, no, Suresh. Yeah. So, next question. Print even sum between 1 to 10 numbers. Ah. So, what is the meaning of? Previously, you are printing 1 to 10 numbers, right? Yeah. So, I am not at all interested to print 1 to 10. I want to print sum. What is the sum here? Uh, 2 plus 4. Plus Those 5 numbers uh, addition. 30, right? Addition. Uh, okay. So, in our whatever sum, final result is there, I will capture one uh, variable. Please observe. Even sum. How many words are there? Even How many words? Seven. Two words. Two, two words. words. Okay. Uh, first seven letter, letters, first two word words. start with lowercase from second word onwards, uppercase. Clear? Initial, I will zero it. Instead of displaying, please observe. Even sum equal to even sum plus i. I will explain. Don't worry. This logic yeah. I will explain. System dot out dot print ln even sum. Observe. I want to print half bit sum of even numbers between sum of even numbers between one to five. Huh? What are the initialization point? I equal to one. I less than equal to 5. Uh, next one, I less than condition true or false? True. True. Come here. Uh, observe. Modulus. What one. the I? 1. Okay. So, modulus nothing but what is the reminder? Reminder is 1. Reminder 1. So, if that condition is satisfied, not satisfied? Not satisfied. No. Uh, again, increment by 1. It's 2. 2. 2 less than equal to 5. Condition true or false? True. true. Again, come here. Ah, 2, 2, ja. Remind zero. 0. Sorry. 2, 1, ja. Remind 0. Super. Clear? So, add to the even number. Initial even equal to even sum equal to even sum. What the initial even sum? 0. 0 plus 2. 2. 2. Oh. So, here, now it will store 2. Clear? And uh, increment by 1. Increment by one, three. Three condition true or false? True. false. Condition true or false? True. 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 Come here. Again, come this loop. And uh, what is the reminder? One. 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 Reminder condition true one. or false? False. Here, false. False. Again, increment by one. Four. Condition true or false? True. true. Again, come here. Huh. Condition true. True. Two, two, ja. Four. Two, two, ja, four. Zero. Zero. So, zero. satisfy. Previously, even sum contains, how, what is the value previously it will store? Two. Two. Two, two. two plus four. Two. Six. Six. Clear? 
clear uh, next one increment by 1 5 5 5 less than equal 5 condition true or false true again come here uh, what the remainder remainder 1 remainder 1 true or false false again increment by 1 6 6 less than equal to 5 false so false so finally we will print event sum as 6 clear any questions yeah clear everyone clear guys at least you are able to understand first initialize the value and then check the condition if condition is true then while block get executed if condition is false while block get terminated any questions i know little bit confused here oh. yeah, you have to write up to the 10 numbers but in the program you wrote up to only 5 uh -huh. then you can write 10 yeah okay. no for explanation purpose just i will take 1 to 5 only okay okay okay, okay. can i go okay. next one yeah yeah uh -huh. so i will go today for last program for this i know little bit confused is there okay now factorial of given number can you anyone yeah factorial so, means up to that number we have to multiply so factorial five factorial nothing but uh, generally what is the five. calculation for mathematical five into four five into three into two into one. Oh, super five into four into four into, four into, into three, three into, into two, two into, into one one huh, total how much but 20 120 right oh you are you are very weak here you are mathematical Huh? Final result what? Huh? One, one, 120, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Yes, so yes. here, what is the initialization point? I equal to 5. Huh? Starting from I, right? So please observe here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two ways are there. You can go here itself also, okay? Anything yes. is fine. Huh? I equal to 5. What is the condition? I less than or equal to five, 1. Uh -huh. I less than or equal I? to 1. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Less. Please observe. 5 to 1. Decremented or yes. incremented? I less than only. Decrement. I greater than or equal to 1, right? Initial yes. point is what? 5. Yes, you are taking the 5. Uh -huh. uh, decrement or increment? Decrement. Sorry? Decrement. Decrement. This is also fine. Or you can take starting from 1 and then I 1 less than or equal to, to 5. I plus plus mm. that is also fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, super. So here please observe here. Int I equal to five while uh, I greater than equal to one. Uh. Mm. So this is multiplication or addition? Multiplication. Multiplication, right? So generally multiplication any number into zero. Zero. Zero, right? That's why initially I will take it one. Ah. Huh. Yes. Fact equal to fact. Sure. Initially I will take fact yeah. equal to fact into I. I. I, right? I. Every number initially one. One into five. Five into four like this. Ah, uh, increment or decrement? Decrement. 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 Any explanation record for this? No. No. Any increment? Any explanation? Print ln. Any explanation? Pavani? No. Any explanation required or can I explain? Huh? No, Suresh. Okay. Can I go next to program? Yes. Okay. So I will go so many programs, polyndrome. Huh? Reverse of number, Armstrong, I will go one by one. Okay, don't worry. I, I will more concentrate on practical only. Okay? okay. Yes. Next one. Factors of given number. Huh. What are the factors? Those are the multiples of that number. Hmm? Multiply five into five. Suppose I want to find out uh, five factors. What is this? Uh, mm. Five one one. Five one. So here, how to check the factors? So what is the number? Five. You want to find out the factors for five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will give three. Okay. Which number you want to find out factors three? So here, in this case, generally factors 
starting from 1 comma 2 comma 3 clear like this you can you can you can check the condition starting from where 1 what is the condition i less than equal to 3 clear up to this number clear yes suppose i will give 5 uh, starting from where 1, one. up to this number so increment or decrement increment uh, increment every now this number will check this number divisible by 1 or not and then this number divisible by 2 or not and this this number divisible by 3 or not clear okay. clear yeah yes so initialization is please observe factors this is very important i want to find out factors for 3 in i equal to 3 ha huh. so here ha huh. otherwise i will take number n okay so which number you want to factors three number right three. starting from three. where hi one starting from where starting one. from where one 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 now clear so instead of yeah. three i will take one temporary variable n clear this one up to this first yeah. you slide the value and then check the condition if condition is true if condition is true uh, come here uh, if uh, that number what is the number here yeah. three n, we have n, to divide n, every n number by t i I. equal to any number divisible by so that number divisible by i first initial one equal to equal to zero that number is factor clear yes first i will check three modulus by one three modulus by two three modulus by three finally we'll get the remainder zero that is factor answer is three one who oh. why <laughs> condition is not correct why this is infinity loop. Can anyone guess? No. Control C. Ah, can anyone guess? No. Here in the if condition, you wrote so here, n modulus 1. Increment not there, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah. So. Yes. Any questions? Any questions? No, uh, no Suresh. Yeah, so I will give some tasks. Please try it. If not, tomorrow session we'll discuss. Okay. Okay. So task one. Reverse of given number. So means please. So one, two, three. Reverse it. Three, two, one. Okay. Next. Check. Number is polyndrome or not. Ah, can anyone? Any idea? Palindrome nothing. What are the original number? 151. Reverse it. Again, 151. Original number, original number is equal to equal to reverse of number. That is called palindrome. Clear? Yeah. Uh, now next. Check number is R strong. Or not Armstrong means please observe 153. So sum of one cube, how one cube how much? And five cube 125 and three cube 27. Again, submit again. Sum of cubes of individual digits again equal to original number that is called Armstrong. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Now sum of digits in given number means suppose i will give 153 ah one, five, three. Huh. one, one plus, plus, five plus three five plus three nine okay. nine try it these four programs if not i will explain okay 